Alright guys, welcome back to my GD script series. So today we're gonna go over conditional statements such as checking if a number is greater than another number, equal to another number, and stuff like that. So in order to test if a number is greater than a number or less than, you could say let's do a printout. So say number one, you use the less than symbol, and then number two or num two. That should print out true or false. Yes, true. There you go. And the greater than is a greater than symbol. That would print false. To do a equal to, use two equal signs. And that would also be false. And to do not equal to, use an exclamation sign and then an equal sign. And that rings true because it's not equal to each other. And then if you want to this also works for strings so let's change this to string one and string two and let's check if it's equal to each other and that would be false and the reason why that's false is because i purposely left this h as a like uppercase so let's change it back to lowercase and this should now be true you could also combine values such as like if you want to do multiple checks in one line or one set you go here you use the and keyword or you could also use this keyword the double and symbol that's more familiar with other languages but let's stick with and for now and you could say num1 less than num2 so this checks both this and this if they're both both these conditions are true and then print and it is I could say if it's not so this one's true and this one's false so it will print out false so we could also use the R option R keyword and you could also use it use two vertical bars but we'll just use regular R's and that will print true because that's one of the conditions are true you could also check for opposite so for example Let's use is tutorial for example. So let's print this here is tutorial. This would be true by default. And if you wanted to to get the opposite, you could put an exclamation point right before it. Just one. And then this will print out false. Now we also have a match statement. This is similar to switch in other languages. So for example, let's say match. I'm gonna type this out real quick. So match you use the match keyword and then but the value that you want to check so let's check number one and then use a colon here then put in the value that you want to check if it is that value so you could say maybe let's say 10 here and for that we print number is 10 could check if it's 20 then print num1 is 20 and then if you want it to return a default value you need to use the lowercase underscore and then equal sign and then print num1 is another number and now we could run this you get num1 is 10 first we try changing it to 20 and we say num1 is 20 and then we could change it to any other number so there you go and num1 is another number all right apart from all that now we could check if a value if a variable is valid so wait, the way you do that is say, say if num num1 and then just let's print out valid. So really what it's checking if is the number has been initialized or if it's null I should say. So this will print out valid, will print out true so it's valid and then if you put zero here or nothing I mean it doesn't print anything. Alright guys, so ternary operators are a way of quickly assigning a value to a variable depending on a condition. So for example, let's say var num4. So if you want to assign a value based on a condition, you would say var num4 equals to let's say 50. And you put if num1 is equal to 10. Then you use else set that number to be equal to 100 
Well, this number, number 4, will be assigned 50 because number 1 is equal to 10. And we could just print that out real quick. So num4. There you go. So 50. And then if it's equal to 11, which would, will be the false, false, prints 100. All right. Okay, so so far I've been only printing out um, what the conditions. So the right way to actually do it, if you want to actually do a check, you use the if keyword. So let's say if num1 is less than num2, let's put this back at 10, then we could say print true. So here, this is where you put your actual code that you want to execute. And then you have else if, but you write E L I F. Then you put the new change here. So if number one is greater than num two, or let's use num three, because they're the same pretty much. Then we print something else. And then finally you also else print nothing. Oops. And uh G script doesn't use brackets, but you could use them if you want to. For this condition I mean and it's used for like maybe the casting and mats and stuff like that but we're not gonna go over all of that all right guys thanks for watching and have a great one I'm gonna be covering um loops next might record that right now actually so take care